must have security. It must have men. People must secure themselves. It has the number one problem. It's affecting our inflation. It's affecting our economy. Because today, our farmers can go back to farm and we have food inflation. People are hungry. We want the farmers to go back. We want to support them. We want to do more. And we'll deal with that aggressively. We want to unite the country. The country is too divided today along ethnic lines. To deal with it. It's not rocket science. Once you start governing based on justice, on fairness, and inclusiveness, everybody has a seat on the table, and they are part of it. And you start showing everybody, we will include everybody, diversity, our ethnic problem will be solved, we will bring in women, we will bring especially women and youth into government. We're not going to have we're not going to have government full of people of over 60. You're wasting everybody's time, not in today's world. Mm -hmm. No. You need aggressively to bring in youth into government. Yeah. Yeah. That is what we need to do. Because their time is their age. They know what to do. They have the energy, they have the talent. They don't turn it into an old people's home. <laughs> It must change. So things are not working. So these are things we want to do aggressively. We must have rule of law. The reason why you people are here because there's rule of the biggest contributor to UK GDP today is what do you think is the biggest contribution to their GDP today? Law and order. Yeah. Rule of law. Because you are sure that if you do anything. I can call police. Keeps everybody in check. Everybody, even at home. Everybody is careful because anybody can call the police. So we all behave well. Not because we want to. But there's law and order. So, that is what we require. That is what we need. Fight corruption. It is physical irresponsibility. These are the things that are affecting your dollar. When people say about rate of exchange, I said you can control it. Today you are not, if you did, bring it to the level it's supposed to be. Stop corruption. The rate of exchange and inflation come down. Because you have unproductive money chasing dollar. Money must be productive. Money earns from production. If you increase your export today, you earn more dollar. You stabilize your currency. People say, how are you going to stabilize your currency? It's very simple. If you have money that are unproductive chasing dollar and you're not exporting goods, your rate will be going south. If you reverse and do these two things, there's something you can do. So my dear people, like I said, I want it to be interactive, to ask so many questions, but I needed to introduce all this topic to be able to say, let us discuss, let us interact. It is critical. It is a serious business. I want Nigerians to take the issue of Nigeria serious. Nobody is going to solve it for us. No foreign country, nobody, we will solve it. And as we've come to low where we can no longer go further. People are now removing their parents from village. They even want them to come overseas to leave. How do you tell a, a, a mother, somebody that has lived in village for 50 years, to start going to a foreign land to leave? People now want to do burial by Zoom. <laughs> it cannot continue. We must deal with it. And dealing with it is just thing. So next year's election, when I conclude, I will tell you what your contribution will be on that. But I want us to have interaction. Once again, I thank you 
for spending your time this evening to be part of this. Let's just stop. Thank you and God bless you. Ladies and gents, come on, let's put our hands together and appreciate His Excellency, Governor Peter Obi. Well, immediately. Thank you, Bob. He, he, he doesn't want any music, no sound, no, it is, you know. All right, ladies and gents, if I can have you, you can take your seats, please. I need everybody's attention for one moment. We're going into questions and answers. Ladies and gents, please put your hands down for a second. Hear me.